Hi, let's work through the agency duty of obedience. Obedience. Remember again that single agency is rooted in the feudal system, going back to the days of kings, queens, and their subjects. The subjects were obedient to the king and queen. They were expected to follow the wishes of the royal masters without question. Licensees working as a single agent are also to follow the orders of their client as it pertains to the real estate relationship. The requirement to be obedient, however, would not exist when being directed to do something that is unlawful, such as to not disclose a material defect about a property. It would be an effect, though, even if the direction from the principal wasn't in the best interest of the principal. If this is the case, the licensee should share his or her opinion with the principal. However, if the principal isn't persuaded to change the instructions, then the licensee must either follow the instructions or formally end the relationship. The duty of obedience is unique to the single agent relationship. Now the duty of obedience can be a slippery slope for a licensee. Let's take for example that you happen upon the opportunity to list a home for an elderly person. Let's say that the sellers held that property for years having bought it for a very low amount compared to today's market. Now maybe that person makes the decision that they want to list the property way under market value. On the one hand, you could be excited because this should be an easy sale, producing quick money in your pocket as a commission, right? But on the other hand, you would have personal motivation to try to get them to raise their listing price because after all, most of the time, your contracts with sellers are based on you being paid a percentage of the sale price. So the higher the sale, the higher your commission. So you can see that you may have your personal motivation to actually try to push up that sale price to a more appropriate level 
based on the market. But regardless of either of those things, when you're working with the seller agency relationship, you must put your own motivations aside and you must listen to the instructions of the seller. It would be appropriate in that situation to present the sellers with the information showing them the estimated value of their home based on comparable sales in the area. Not only would it be appropriate, but because you're looking out for their best interest, it would be a requirement by law that you would do so under your duty of loyalty. But then what do you do if you present all that information about pricing and they still say, no, we really want to list our property at this price. We want a good family or person to buy our home. We want to create an opportunity for someone to easily be able to do that. Under the duty of obedience, it would be your obligation to do exactly as they instructed you to do. But now let's put a little twist on that same story. What if in your conversations with them, you become suspicious that dementia has actually set into the seller's state of mind? Do you follow that duty of obedience and move forward? Well, you could use that as an excuse and do so because you could say, okay, I'm just being obedient to my sellers. But frankly, when the seller's children later come and sue you and claim that you took advantage of their elderly parent, you probably need to be prepared to lose. Based on your duty of loyalty, which is now in conflict of the duty of obedience, you were obligated not to comply with the pricing. These types of scenarios do happen in real estate. As always, if you find yourself in a situation such as this, be sure to look to your broker for advice and always stay right with the law.